Hey guys, welcome. Welcome back to Artistic License, my Thursday stream where we do whatever I want. And today we're going to be continuing my first Pokemon Nuzlocke. We're Nuzlocking the leaf green version. Today we're going to be fighting Misty. Um, we're going to be challenging that second gym on stream today. But I think also today we're going to just have like a nice, a nice chill stream because uh, Koneko is not feeling too well. Our favorite NPC Eliza is not feeling too well. So um, welcome in Kendra. Welcome in Koneko. So happy to see you here. I'm sorry that you're having sicknesses in your house. That is a real bummer. Um, when that happens. Uh, the same thing happened to me when I got my shot as well as when I got my booster Koneko. It was pretty, <laughs> it was pretty, uh, it was pretty difficult for me. Um, not as bad as COVID itself, but, uh, but I still had some pretty strong fatigue reaction to both my original shot and my booster. All right, guys, we've got a very, very cute little quiz today. Here it is. I'm going to pull it up on screen. Oh, before I do that, I just want to notice, see, like, Lady is embracing the chill stream today. He is like, he looks so relaxed. She looks so relaxed, sleeping so good. Okay, here we go. All right. Assigning you a frog based on your outfit choices. This is an excuse for the quiz maker to force strangers to look at pictures of frogs. I thought this sounded nice since we started with Bulbasaur. Let's do a quiz about frogs. Why not? All right, let's get started. Uh, okay, I'll turn on the baby cam for you. I do not think Lady is in baby cam frame exactly, but let me see if I can adjust that really quick. not working you guys it's not working oh my gosh oh, there we go there we go she's barely in frame <laughs> there you go you can get a, a back version and then the front version behind me jane hey how's it going we're picking out outfits we're picking out outfits today um it's going to tell us a frog okay here we go these are some pretty good outfits. I definitely got to go for the pop punk. Um, I used to actually wear stuff like this for real, not unironically. So we have to go with that. Jane, how are you doing today? We, we're having a very chill stream today because we've got some um, people feeling not so well in the chat. So I hope you're feeling well. All right, let's see, let's see. Oh, I'm definitely into this, the long sleeves. My arms get very cold, especially this arm. It gets it gets cold before the rest of my body gets cold. It's very annoying. Okay. Oh, a cold weather outfit. Oh, they actually have titles. I wasn't even reading the titles. I was just skipping straight to looking at the pictures. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Okay. I love the mismatching here and the multiple layers. This looks really, really warm. And I'm a tropical creature, so I need that. I'm feeling rad. I've been hearing some back or on backwards order today. <laughs> this day has been weird. Has it been a backwards kind of day, Jane? Is that what's it, that, is that what's happened? Hot weather. Okay, hot weather. Um, let's see. Oh, these people are still all, are wearing. Sh oh, they're not. They're wearing pants, but it's all monochrome. We can't go with that. We can't go with that. Probably something like this. I can't tell if she's wearing pants or shorts though. Anyways. Which would you wear for a night out? Okay, we're going out. Uh, we're going for this. Yeah, we're going for this. I mean, we all used to show the belly back when I was a teenager. It was the early 2000s. It was a whole time for bellies. Pick a formal look. Okay. We'll pick a formal look. I think probably something like this would look best on me. I've, I've had formal dresses kind of like that. I've had ones like kind of like this to the A-line. I think we'll go with this. I cannot even, I started to pronounce that and I was like, I have no idea. Um, horned marsupial frog. You're just really cool. Another way of putting it. You have beautiful nature vibe about you, but it's still a bit of an edge. 
off all the other results, you probably like shiny rocks the most. <laughs> That's awesome, Kendra. I love your answer. Um, pick a runway look that I enjoy greatly. Let's see. Oh, shoot. She's literally got a plushy, plushy clothes. Okay, we got to go for that. Last one. Just pick whichever of these you like the most. I had extra pictures. Okay. Just going on purely good vibes that I like. I love the back of her, her sweater there. That's awesome. But I really like this look. Again, I mean, y'all can see, like, I was totally pop punk back in the day. Oh, I got this guy however you say that dark brooding and beautiful you like edgy fashion with lots of accessories and interesting textures so does this frog probably it's true i have two modes extreme comfort you know sweatpants that sort of thing or like um 100 like pop punk goth hot topic before it got into fandom that's you know that was my vibe for like the longest time <laughs> Hey, that that was cool, okay? This is the first question I see, and it is gay panic. <laughs> oh my gosh, what are the other answers? Green burrowing frog, grabs fringe limb tree frog, horn marcy. There's the one that Kendra got. Morlet's tree frog, something I pr can't pronounce, Mediterranean tree frog. Another thing I can't pronounce, and red eye tree frog. All right, you'll have to tell me what you got if you take this quiz. And we're going to switch back to the camera for a second while I get the game going. Look at the audio. I ha I, what I've realized has happened be of the program that I'm using to play this, um, which is a 100% legit um, Game Boy Advance. That's definitely what I'm doing. Um, I have to adjust the set, readjust the sound every time. So I'm just looking at it for a second to make sure it's not too loud or too quiet. It looks right. So here we go. Let's get started, you guys. Does all the overlay come on? Yes, it did. Okay, here we go. Yep, yep, yep. Previously. Previously on Karen Nuzlocks. All right. So we have some star pieces and things like that to sell. So I want to sell my star pieces. Yes. Because uh, that's just good for selling. That's like all it's good for. And then, yes, we need to buy some Pokeballs. Oh, we already have five. Well, we'll just buy one more. Um, do I need any potions? We'll buy a couple super potions. Why not? We have we have lots of money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. No. All right. Where are we at? With our Pokemons? Who's leading? Taylor's leading? I think that's what I want. Yeah. I want Taylor to lead. Okay, so what I did before, from between last time and now, I leveled everybody up to 18, so you can see they're all level 18. And that's where we're gonna, we're gonna go from. So I leveled them up on sand trues and stuff, in that one little grass patch. <laughs> Since you can't go back beyond that. Alright, here we go. Time to fight. Green burrowing frog. Ooh, that's fun. Booty. Yo, Karen. You're still struggling along back here? I'm doing great. I caught a bunch of strong and smart Pokemon. Here, let me see what you caught, Karen. All right, we're going to fight our rival Booty. I'm going to read this green burrowing frog while he sets up. Um, boyish and fun. You know how to keep it simple and also making a statement. You like taking classic shapes and bringing new life to them with interesting colors and patterns. Oh, I love that. Oh, that's such a good one. So you can see already that our rival Booty is cheating. He has a Pidgeotto that's level 17. It's not supposed to evolve to level 18. Um, how he did that, I don't know. Cheats. He's a cheat. That's that's the only explanation. <clears throat> but it's okay. We're going to rock throw him to death. Aw, oh, man. Not quite. Okay, one more. One more and then he'll go down. What, Kendra? Booty would never- well, he did! I mean, you just saw it. You saw the level 17 Pidgeotto. So, I don't know why you would try to defend him. Okay, he's about to send out Charmander. We're gonna keep Geodude in, I think, for Charmander. I didn't mean to press yes. I meant to press no. 
literally do have that. Am I a boy or girl? Surprise, I'm neither. NB look. Oh my good days. Oh, speaking of an NB look, um, has anybody watched the new Ghostbusters yet? We watched that last night. It's pretty funny. Um, I really liked it. Uh, especially the, um, the daughter who's got a lot of, who's pretty much, uh, non-binary and, uh, she's really funny. Um, they have this part of, like, her character that she tells bad jokes. <laughs> and just the way that she delivers it is so perfect. Ah, oh, shoot. Okay. That's not good. That's not good. Okay, let's switch out. We'll put in Moose. Don't like dresses. Yeah. I like dresses alright myself, um, but, uh, I have an issue in that I have very large thighs, so I have to make sure that I can wear um, some kind of spanks or tights or something underneath dresses and skirts. Otherwise, they are uh, very frustrating and uh, can't do it all day without a lot of pain. Okay, Abra, Abra's no problem. Um, yeah, let's let let's let Landon get some experience because all Abra can do is teleport. Mm -mm. Yep. Teleport's not gonna do anything in a rival battle. I don't know why you're even using your Abra. You should have put him in the PC. Rattata. Yes, we'll go back to Moose. I like long skirts. They give me blanky sensory, which is very good in the summer. Yes. <laughs> I know what you mean. I know what you mean about needing a blanket 24-7. <laughs> I also need a blanket 24-7. Alright. Good. Didn't miss the hyperfang. All good there. And we beat booty! Yay! We smacked that booty, y'all. Oh, y'all can't see it. We'll have to do this hand. We smacked that booty, y'all. We smacked it good. Okay. Hey, guess what? I went to Bill's and got him to show me his rare Pokemon. That added a lot of pages to my Pokedex. After all, Bill's the wor Bill's world famous as a Pokemaniac. He invented the Pokemon storage system on PC too. Since you're using his system, you should go thank him. Well, I better get rolling. Smell you later. Oh, peek back. Oh yeah, right. I feel sorry for you. No, really, you're always plotting behind me. So here, I'll give you a little present as a favor. Oh, a fame checker, okay. A chatty gossip like you? That thing's perfect. I don't need it because I don't give a hoot about others. All right, this time I really am gone. Smell ya. <laughs> okay, bye, booty. See you later. Let's go heal up because uh, Taylor took a lot of damage and we just can't be having that. We gotta get her feeling better. Okay, now that we beat Booty, I'm also going to give these rare candies to a very special politician. Here you go. Yay. What? Politician is evolving! Yeah! Okay, now we got Gyarados. I spent so much time switch training this thing to level it up because his tackle does basically nothing. It is very freaking annoying. Okay, let's go organize his moves so that he can use bite uh, at the top. Go away, useless splash. Okay, there we go. 
Booty scent king confirmed. It's true. <laughs> the hype sense uh, in the characters are... Yeah, I love it. Oh my god, like, look at her hair. Her hair is like... Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Like, she's running so fast. Oh my god, stop pressing that button. Um. Okay, so let's get Moisty up front. All right, here we go. We're going to take on Nugget Bridge. People call this the Nugget Bridge. Beat us five trainers and win a fabulous prize. Think you got what it takes? We're going to find out. We're going to find out if I got what it takes. I know I can beat them all, but can I do it without killing any of my Pokemon? That's the question. Probably. Probably can, since they're such high level compared to most of these trainers. Karen, if you do a highlights reel of this series, you should do a don't press that button encounter for every time you open up the health menu. <laughs> Oh my gosh. If I had um, the budget for like an editor or something, I would so make highlight reels. Um, it's just it, the reason why I don't have them literally is because they're like too much work. It is a lot of work to go through two hours of footage um, and chop it up. It's just too much. <laughs> um, Bugcatcher Kale is about to send out Metapod. Okay, so no, we'll keep Pidgey. I guess he has all bugs. So yeah, if anybody wants a free editing gig where I won't pay you, sorry, um, I don't have the budget for that, uh, you can edit these together and, and make that a thing. Sif, stop drooling on Kendra. Go drool on Eliza instead. She'll probably like it because, you know, she's weird and crazy like that. That's why we love her. Did that work? Did she do it, Kendra? Did Sif go drool on Eliza? Oh my god. Alright, let's go back to Taylor. I am second. Now it's serious. Eliza pushes Sif away. Why? Why does Eliza not like Sif? Sif's a good kitty cat. That's very rude. Gosh, Eliza. Sometimes you gotta let the kitty cat drool on you. Mm, what do I have to deal with an Oddish? I guess I can send out Uwu. Ziff is chunky and heavy and likes to lay on your chest. Oh. <laughs> I don't mind. I don't mind when my kitty cats lay on me, even if they're heavier. Um, it's okay. I feel like uh, Oreo is going to end up being really freaking heavy because um, he's already pretty heavy. He's only 10 months old. So, and he, he loves to lay on you. <laughs> loves to lay on you. Lay on your chest, lay on your legs, all that good stuff. Well, let's do a focus energy. He didn't like. So at least if he gets it, he'll get some crits. Don't absorb me. Don't absorb me, Oddish. I don't want to be part of your cult. There we go. I don't either, but this is a child. <laughs> I do absorb me. Uh-oh, Kendra wants to be part of the Oddish cult, guys. I don't know what they do in the Oddish cult, Kendra. This might be scary. Like, you never know. Mm, nope, I'll keep Uwu. Get that bell sprout, Uwu. Sif probably feels like 50 pounds on Eliza's chest. How much does Sif weigh? Does Sif actually weigh 50 pounds? Excuse me. We had pork bowls for dinner. It was really good. It's like um, smoked pork on top of rice and veggies with sauce on it. It was really good. All right. That's... <sighs> I'm gonna have to stop saying it because I'm like, annoying myself with every time I point it out too. <laughs> All right. Come on, Landon, you're gonna lead now. No, 10 plus pounds, I think. Oh, okay. I mean, Queen's 10 pounds, and I don't think she's that heavy of a kitty cat. I think 10 pounds is like maybe normal. Because when I think of like a, a 
heavy cat. I'm thinking like a cat that's 20 pounds, like, or close to 20 pounds or over, you know? That's like a big heavy cat to me. Then 15 because she's heavy. You should just weigh her. Do you have a um, scale? You can like weigh yourself and then pick her up and do the difference. Uh, let's see. No, I think it's fine. Because so I don't have a psychic Pokemon for a, to kill a poison with, so we'll let Landon kill it. If we don't have a scale, I have no clue. Oh, okay. Oh no, that really didn't work. Who do we have to deal with in Ekans? I guess we can use... I guess we can use Taylor. Landon, come back! Oh, well now we have to use Taylor. Because <laughs> he's wrapped, or she's wrapped. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not going to do anything but be annoying and not let us switch out. Okay, well that took care of it anyways. Landon's MVP. Or sorry, Taylor's MVP. Picking up the slack. Alright, good job, self. And let's actually switch back. Yeah. I can't believe we got a Geodude. Like I'm so I'm so happy about that. That's gonna make the third gym so easy. I really thought I would end up getting a Zubat in the uh in the uh Mount Moon area. My god, her Nidoran would have double kick. Rude. Okay. Well, who can we do instead? Let's get let's get Moose out instead. Uh-oh. Now it can crit more. My greatest enemy. Critical hits. Ah. Nidorans are so annoying. I wish I had caught one. <laughs> Especially with that poison point. Ah, uh, thank you so much for the lurk, Jane. We absolutely love our lurkers here. Happy to have you lurking. Oh, geez, that's right. He's normal, so it's super effective. Oh, my God. Okay, who can we get out here instead? Let's get Landon out here, because at least Landon's part poison type, so she's not going to get poisoned. Okay. Yep, we'll just find Whip. That should kill it. I know it's not very effective. I was going for defense, not offense. All right, let's go heal up before we do the next one. Oh, I need an antidote first. Do I have one? The only thing that really sucks about this generation is that it's not until the next generation that they make it so that poison doesn't kill you out of battle. Like it just takes you down to one HP instead of zero HP. Very, very annoying. Yes, please heal them. Lady, where are you going? She's walking the way she likes to walk to climb on top of the computer. But she's not allowed since she turned off my computer in the middle of a stream before. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Lady, you better not be about to do what I think you're about to do. Don't do it! What are you doing? What are you doing, lady? Oh, she's watching. She's watching the game. <laughs> Bye, Mankey. I miss my Mankey. Potato loaf. Such a good Mankey. Died too young. 
Oh, he only had one Pokemon? Okay. That's cool, I guess. Oh my god. <clears throat> I need to stop playing another Pokemon game in between streams. <sighs> Congratulations, you beat our five contest trainers. You just earned a fabulous prize. Yay, I got a nugget. By the way, how would you like to join Team Rocket? Well, I don't know, I mean, what's your benefits package? I might be interested. Being a Pokemon trainer pays, but like, you know, I could use some more. We're a group of professional criminal criminals specializing in Pokemon. Tell me more. Want to join? Yeah, yeah, when, when can I have an interview? Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Come on, join us, I'm saying yes. I'm telling you to join, I'm telling you. I want to join. Okay, you need convincing. I'll make you an offer you can't refuse. I told you yes. I told you yes, dude. Come on. Come on. Team Rocket Grunt would like to battle. Obviously, you cannot let the main character say N yes, although that would be super cool if you could do that. I wish. I know why not. It's ridiculous. Let's let's do magnitude. Oh, magnitude eight. That's good. Super effective. Mm, no, we'll do rock throw on the Zubat since he's flying. There's a playground rumor when I was little that there was a version where you could play as Team Rocket. People got confused about yellow. Oh, <laughs> oh, that would be so cool though. Oh no, rude. Um, I'm sure that somebody has made like a Pokemon hack where you can like where you can do a Team Rocket run. Like that must exist online. I don't know if it's, if there's any good ones or you know. I'm just saying like someone must have made that right. It seems so obvious. That's right, I am good. With your ability, you could become a top leader in Team Rocket. Come on, think of the opportunity. Don't let this chance go to waste. I'm trying not to, my dude, but the game literally won't let me. Alright, we're gonna put Moose in the lead, and we're gonna go get this trainer over here. I saw your feet from the grass! J Rose has done solo runs as Jesse and James with Ekans and Coughing, respectively. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I knew it. I knew there had that had to exist, right? That had to be a thing that the Pokemon community has done. There's no way um, that somebody wouldn't have. Nah, Moose can stay in. It's fine. You are doing a good job today, Moose. Very proud of you. Get that Ekans. Okay. Very important next that I switch over to Landon for a sleep powder because there's a chance of finding an Abra for my encounter in this grass right here. And if I do, I want a chance to catch it, because it's going to try to teleport away. So the only way to catch this Abra, really, is to do a sleep powder and then try to catch it. So let's see. We'll see if we even get an Abra. I don't know. Bellsprout. Okay, we got a Bellsprout. Um, let's still do a sleep powder. And then go to our name list. If we catch this guy, what do I want to name it? Alright. Let's do... Love the funky dude. <laughs> he does have the kind of design that's, uh, that's very Kendra. Okay. Um... Let's see, what names do we have? 
Since Kendra loves the bell sprout, let's give it one of Kendra's name suggestions. We'll do Mr. Jane. Mm, can I do a space? Oh. Yes, I can. Okay. Mr. Jane. There we go. Alright, so we mark in that name off of our list. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it still would work. It still works in this one. No problems. Let's see, what's this up here? Oh, a TM attract. Alright. Yeah, it's not in- yeah, that's not until way later, um, that sleep powder behaves differently. Okay, so here's the- the other route that we're on, so this- because remember in, um, in Gen 1, you couldn't have, like, a route that had a bend in it, the roots are all straight, so that straight strip that we were on, that was a route, and this is a separate route, so this grass patch is a separate route, technically, so we're gonna try to get another encounter here. Um, so let's see what we get. Okay, we already have... We have the Weedle. Okay, this is good. This is good, because then I can have a Butterfree. It's not as good as catching an Abra for having a Psychic type, but that's okay, because we have a chance to get a Drowsy later. So then we'll have a Psychic type. And he's level 9, so I only have to switch train him one level to become a Butterfree. I wish I would have had a Butterfree sooner, but, you know. If you put Drowsy to sleep, you have a Drowsy Drowsy. <laughs> True! Alright. Yes, I would like to give a nickname. Let's see, what other names do we have? Um... This is a boy one. Let's name it... Let's name it Pinky. I know Butterfreeze aren't pink or anything, but it just sounds like a nice name for a butterfly. So we're gonna go with that. How did Jane spell it? Oh, P-I-N-K-Y. Okay. And we'll mark that one off. Okay. Alright, so that's some good encounters. Oops. I didn't mean to walk in the grass. I meant to walk down. <laughs> so I would be out of the grass. Well, I guess that wasn't too bad. I'm a little sad that we didn't get an Abra. But, that being said, um, an Abra is very hard to catch. If I hadn't, you know, done everything exactly right, then it we could it could have escaped and then, you know, then no Pokemon. You know, and, 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 and a catch is better than no catch, even if it's not the, um... The exact Pokemon that I wanted. Alright, um, oh. There's also this. There's a Petra Berry right there. In that little weird grass. Yes, I have! Um, I remember that, and that was a, that's a very, very touching episode. <laughs> the memory makes me cry. Okay. Let's, um, switch over to... Shoot. <laughs> Let's switch over to Pidgey. Because I'm pretty sure that this particular hiker leads with a um, Machop, not a Geodude or anything. And then the other hiker leads with the Geodude. I'm pretty sure. Yep. I knew it! Go, Moisty! Yeah, that's a great episode. You know, I, um, the anime is, like, so expansive now, but I've still only ever seen, like, the, the beginning of the anime. I mean, I watched it when I was a kid, right? But as soon as I kind of grew out of the, um, the age, <laughs> you know, the target audience, um, I, uh, yes, I will. I'll switch over to Landon. Um, 
I kept playing the games, but I stopped watching the anime. You know, I, mo I moved on to, to bigger and better animes. I just saw Bulbapedia page for the pink Butterfree misspells Butterfree as Butterfree. Butterfree. Buttfree. <laughs> Bootfree. Maybe you would say Bootfree because of the E. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Bootfree. Yeah. Good job. Alright, now for the other hiker. We do want to switch over to Landon. Like that. Although, am I going to walk in front of the other hiker net? Yeah, I am if I go down. This way. But free. When you finally become the champion and kick Booty's ass. Oh! Then I'll be butt free! Booty champion forever. <laughs> I love the name. Um, I love using uh, Booty as my rival name. It has been so amusing, these episodes. So I really appreciate Kendra for putting that into the, the name rotation so that I ended up choosing it for my rival. <laughs> Yep, 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 that's all good. <clears throat> I think if I ever do another Pokemon game on stream, we will probably continue the rival booty situation. It's just too good. It's too good not to, you know what I mean? Okay, let's do this. Because I want to get this youngster next. Hopefully my guys will be all um, level 20 or 21 by the time I do all of these trainers. That should be good. I think, and I think that's close to what'll happen. Recently had one of my RP characters say, ass would be an insult to the donkey. <laughs> that was probably my proudest moment writing. I love that. I love that. I, it's, it's always like this wonderful feeling when your character is interpreted exactly correctly. Like exactly how you intended. No, I need to go heal up Taylor. I need to go heal Taylor. She got a little bit low on the HP. So we're just gonna Hyper Fang this Spiro. Moose needs to level anyway. Ah, oh, didn't quite do it. All right. Uh, I don't remember if there's a lot of trainers that I would end up using Taylor on. Let's just do a potion. I know, right? So close. So close to that level, and he just didn't cinch it. There you go, Taylor. Now you're all healed up. Yay. Now I won't be scared to use you. But I think I'm gonna have Landon lead like most of the rest of these battles. Dad took me to a great party on the SS Anne at Vermilion City. I wanna go to a party? A party on the SS Anne? I haven't been on a cruise in so long now again. We went last July, but now it feels like feels like forever. And I'll really be really surprised if we go on a, end up going on a cruise this year, you know what I mean? I just don't foresee it happening. There you go, use a water gun. That's pointless. Good job, Slowpoke. I appreciate that pointless move. Although I don't know if Slowpoke at 17 has anything better. Maybe I don't think it gets anything better until later levels. I'm not mad. Sure. Hi, my boyfriend is cool. I'm so happy for you, lady. So happy for you. Oh, I need to fix... The babies are in actual baby position, you guys. I didn't turn the camera back on because lady moved, but let me turn the baby cam back on and put it in the actual position. Oh no, a knitter ran. That's okay, though. Lady. Queen and Lady are in the baby cam position. Oh man, I'm losing PP on those vine whips. It's a slow poke. I assume it would be slow to learn any good moves. <laughs> ah. All Pokemon are, are good Pokemon, I think. You just gotta use them properly, right? I might have to go back and heal just to get 
Landon's PP up. Wow, so super effective, that peck. Uh, yes, actually, I do need to switch, I think. Let's send in... Let's send in Ulu. Oh. You want out, Riri? It's okay, I'll let you out. There you go. There you go. Now you can go through the door. Alright, let's focus energy to get up our crits, and then we will fury attack. Miss. That's why I hate the fury attack. It's very annoying. <laughs> Except Sunflora. <laughs> I can't really disagree there. I don't think I've ever used Sunflora in a playthrough. Um, at least I can't remember a time that I have. All right. Five times and one of them was a crit. That's awesome. But this Nuzlocke has um, gotten me to use some Pokemon that I typically wouldn't use. Like I, I would, I wouldn't use a Beedrill, like ever. Um, I'm definitely team like Caterpie, Butterfree, you know. But I'm using one this time. I have one in Pokemon Go that I sometimes put in the gym for memes. <laughs> I haven't played Pokemon Go in so long. Oh my god. But yeah, Sunflora I would think would be pretty useless in Pokemon Go, as everything's even more limited in that game. Okay, I need to head back real quick because Landon's only got 10 PP on that Vine Whip, so we need to get some more PP. We need to get some more PP, guys. Give me that P. Was that good water, Riri? I suppose it was. She seems satisfied anyway. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have Pokemon Go as motivation to go outside. Oh, yeah. You know, that's kind of why I stopped playing, because they added in, when the pandemic started, you know, they added in a bunch of new features to make it so that you could play from home a lot easier. And without, like, a group of people that I was going out to play it with, it just, there just, it wasn't that fun. <laughs> it just wasn't that fun playing from home, you know, without, like, a bunch of people. Um, I'm off to see a Pokemaniacs collection at the Cape. Me too. Hiker Knob. I don't even I don't even know if this one has any Mac chops. I think he just has a bunch of like Geodudes and maybe an Onyx. <clears throat> nope, keep landing. When she gets level 21, though, just for the level cap, I'm gonna switch her to some switch to somebody else because she's gonna go beat the gym. So I don't really want her to like get too over leveled. Yeah, um, I guess politician can come in and and kill them. I don't have a group of people to play with, so I just go alone. Oh, okay. Um, in my area, it actually got really popular. There was some people that took it, like, really seriously. <laughs> like, uh, uh, way too seriously, I should say. <laughs> um, but it was fun, you know, it was fun because when you went out, there was always, like, people to play with. Um, no, I think that's fine. I think dark, the, a dark move is still good. Will it still hurt a fighting type? I think. Let's find out. Oh, not very effective. Okay, well, we'll swap him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, come on, Moisty. You can do it. Yep. Yep, yep. I see kids playing sometimes, and I'm always super happy when I see a new person knock my mom out of the gym because people are still picking it up. Yeah, um, that is true. My husband and, and roommate still play pretty actively. Um, we live close enough to like a, a gym and, and some stops and stuff that we can kind of play from home with the way that they've, you know, got it set up now. 
and um, and they still have a lot of fun with it. And there are still definitely people active, and they'll comment when it's like somebody that uh, that we used to play a lot with, like oh, so and so is still playing, or um, or things like oh, I've never seen such so and so before. Um, I've never seen this name before. I'm a cool guy. I've got a girlfriend. Good for you, dude. Camper Flint would like to battle. All right, we're trying to, gonna try to get Moisty some levels off of this guy. No, he does pretty good. He does pretty good, even when it's not super effective. All right, good job, Moisty. We're just gonna because I because of the genders of the Pokemon, and the um. The way that I name them, we're just gonna have to pretend that like Moisty and Landon are both trans Pokemon or something. I don't know exactly how that works out, um, but uh, but yeah, since I gave this girl Pidgey <laughs> the name Moisty and the boy uh, uh, Bulbasaur the name Landon, so we're just gonna have to go with that. Maybe that's how we work that out. Because I'm not gonna stop calling my uh, my Pidgey a he, <laughs> even though. Is got the female symbol next to the name. It's just it's just because I named it Moisty, that's how it's gonna be. Oh, at least he didn't poison it, just wrapped, okay. That's okay, this gust is gonna kill it. Bye. Yeah. That's right. This Pidgey is a gender fluid Pidgey. So he's cool with whatever. Alright, so you gotta get the camper to move so you can come get secret power, otherwise you have to wait until you get cut and come back to do that tree. There's an Oron Berry right there on the weird looking grass. I had this feeling. Okay, battle me with your feelings, youngster Chad. We'll do Gust. I want to see the difference between... Let's see if Quick Attack does more. Oh, yeah. It did slightly more. I'm That might have just been a high roll, but at least Quick Attack's guaranteed first, so we'll do that. Yay! Moisty's trying to learn Whirlwind. Oh, do I want to learn more Whirlwind? Maybe. Let's see. It's made to switch out. I mean, that could be very annoying. That could be very annoying, usefully annoying. Let's swap Tackle for Whirlwind. I don't see myself really utilizing Tackle. So, we'll do that. Uh, yes, I think so for Sandshrew. Let's put in Politician. Hopefully a bite does good on Sandshrew. We're about to find out. Jed, hey, how's it going? These indie d ads about landing a job as a community manager really hit differently. <laughs> <laughs> on the way in. Hey, it's going good. We haven't killed anybody yet this stream, so this is a very good stream. We're trying to keep it really chill and uh, and calm today because we've got some um, we've got some sick friends in the chat, Jed. So I hope you're not sick. I hope you're feeling well. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we've got some of that. My friend has many cute Pokemon. I'm so jealous. I'm jealous of cute Pokemon too. I love the cute Pokemon. To me, it's all about the Pokemon aesthetics, not anything else. Did that gift play for you, Kendra? Or would the baby was the baby cam blocking it? No alerts are above the baby cam, so it shouldn't have been. Let me make sure alerts are above everything. Oh, I'm so glad. Okay, I'm glad. Okay, good. Thank you, Koneko. <laughs> Eevee is a baby. Eevee's a good baby. Someday I'm going to be able to put my Eevee Funko back out. 
Um, but right now, uh, Lady is still obsessed with anything like vinyl. Uh, she just loves it. So she just chews the crap out of the ears. So Evie's in a drawer until Lady grows up a little bit. Yeah, Jed, as you can see, um, Moisty is still alive and well. So we're doing good there. Um, I have the naming turned off because we have so many names uh, in the queue. But Jed, I know you have not been to one of these streams. So if you're hoping to submit some names, I'd be happy to turn it back on just for you. Um, if you have some you want to submit, you can submit a few and then I can turn it right back off. Just dashed in a 25k work portfolio for my apprenticeship. Oh, apparently a level 3 qual worth more than graft than a bachelor's or master's. Oh, wow. Good luck. Good luck. Um, I mean, I would think, yeah, a portfolio means more. Like, that's actual work, you know what I mean? So, of course it would. That makes sense. This cape is a famous date spot. Misty, the gym leader, has high hopes about this place. Hello, are you here alone? If you're out at Cerulean's cape, well, it should be as a couple. Okay, well, you know what? Okay, there's another hidden item out here somewhere, I think? Yeah, an ether right there. You, you can't really tell, like, there's nothing indicating it. I just know that it's a few tiles away from this sidewalk right here, so that's what I was doing. What's this? I see no man. No Bill. What's- Hiya! <laughs> I'm a Pokemon! No, I'm not. <laughs> Call me Bill. I'm a true blue Pokemaniac. Hey, what's with that skeptical look? I'm not joshing you, lady. I don't know why I would be skeptical. This is the first time in the game we've encountered a Pokemon that can talk. Obviously, I should believe him, but my character, I guess, doesn't. I screwed up an experiment and got combined with a Pokemon. So how about it? Help me out. Yeah, sure, Bill will help you. Wait till I get inside the teleporter. When I do, go to my PC and run the cell separation system. It's true. Bill is a furry. Bill is a pokey furry. I think there's that's like a real thing. Like there's a word for that. Um, for furries that are like, it's like Pokemon. They're really about Pokemon, like a pokey sonar or whatever. Karen initiated the teleporter cell separator. So Bill comes out, but like the Pokemon that he was spliced with doesn't come out. So what happened to that poor Clefairy that he got combined with? Because his dialogue implies there's a Clefairy somewhere in this process. And yet. Yeah, thanks, lady. I owe you one. So did you come to see my Pokemon collection? You didn't? That's a bummer. I've got to thank you. Oh, here, maybe this will do. Oh, I got the ticket for SS Anne. Karen put the SS ticket in the key items pocket. That cruise ship SS Anne is in Vermilion City. I hear there are lots of trainers on board too. They invited me to their party, but I can't stand fancy dues. Why don't you go instead of me? Go on and have a good time. I will, Bill. I think there's like funny dialogue if you click on some of these different things. But I can't remember which ones it is. But maybe it doesn't exist. Or maybe it's just in like... Red and blue, and I'm confusing it. Oh, no, here's one. Lights in different colors are flashing on and off. Ha ha ha. I hated most of it because it hasn't reflected anywhere near my best work. Because I haven't had resor been resourced at all. However we move, this is big. Applying the more creative marketing jobs that I can actually feel like I'm bringing any part of myself to my professional life. That is very satisfying, I have to say, Jed. As somebody that, you know, um, does a lot of creative work at work, it is, uh, it is definitely fulfilling to have some of that stuff be part of work. It makes it feel like it's worth it, you know what I mean? All right, let's heal up. Oh, Genjika. I think that's the word I was thinking of. And then Pokesona is if it's an actual Pokemon. Okay. <clears throat> Vulpix and Fret. Oh, those are cute ones. Good choices, Koneko. All right, we're healed up. Let's make sure Landon's in front. And it's time to just absolutely destroy Misty. She does. She's not going to know what's coming. She's not ready for it. Um, but we're going to bring it. We're going to push her into the pool against her will. Are you ready to go swimming, Misty? 
Yo, champ in the making, let me give you some advice. The leader Misty is a pro who uses water-type Pokemon. You can drain all of their water with grass-type Pokemon, or you might use electric-type Pokemon to zap them. Okay. We're gonna dodge around this trainer, just so that it don't get too many level-ups. We'll come back and fight him, though. Alright. Come on, Misty. Hi, you're a new face. Only those trainers who have a policy about Pokemon can turn pro. What's your approach when you catch and train Pokemon? My policy is an all-out offensive with water-type Pokemon. It's so funny that she says that, because when you think of water-type Pokemon, you think about, like, bulky defensive Pokemon, not offensive Pokemon. <laughs> My child self was so sad when Misty and Brock didn't kiss in the show. Oh, that's a good ship, Kendra. They should have. They should have definitely kissed. Super effective! Alright. Second one. Oh, I meant to say no. Here we go, Misty. Alright, Misty. Hey, Misty. Is your cell phone in your pocket? No? No, it's not? Okay. Awesome. Oh, shoot. I thought that was gonna one-shot. Okay, let's try that again. Hey, Misty. <laughs> Is your cell phone in your pocket? No? Okay, cool. We push you in the pool. Oh my god, sliver of health! Okay, we're gonna do, do the bit one more time. Hey Misty, is your cell phone in your pocket? Oh my god. She would use a super potion. This is so annoying. Whatever, the bit was gonna be funny. But it's not working out. I tried. <laughs> Stop using Swift! That move is so annoying! There we go. Now I push a Misty in the pool. Honestly, it's been soul shredding to move from a director of a small business. Yeah. Yeah. Only cover wages for people who are employed. Mm-hmm. Ex-police business who essentially use me as an admin. I know how that feels. Um, I feel like whenever you're, you're in a creative role, um, or you have creative school skills, people just shove you into uh, admin roles, even though that's not what you applied for, that's not what you're supposed to be getting paid for, that's not what's in your contract, but you just get you get shoved into that crap. Um, Razor Leaf. Yeah, we probably do want Razor Leaf. Let's see. Is it 55.95? With a high critical hit ratio? It's 35.100. 55 is so much higher than 35. I think I'm going to take that instead of the 95. So yeah, I think we'll replace it with Razor Leaf. <laughs> Yay! Okay. <clears throat> and let's turn on... Oh. Yeah, we got the badge! You can have the Cascade badge to show you beat me. Thanks, Misty makes all Pokemon up to level 30 obey. That includes even outsiders you get in trades. There's more. You can now use cut any time. You can cut down small trees and open pathways. You also have my favorite TM. <laughs> the TM from Misty. Okay. It teaches Water Pulse. Use it on an aquatic Pokemon. Okay. Sweet. Alright, we're gonna dodge these trainers. Well, no. I could just use a potion. Let me use a potion. Alright. Heal up Landon. I'm on gardening leave to finish my quals at the minute, and went to the office yesterday to get evidence screenshots in my portfolio. <laughs> it intensified when I saw how miserable everyone else still was. Well, hopefully um, some of them that are, they can find new jobs. I don't know how it is in the UK, but here we have this like, great resignation. Oh, I can't face... She wasn't a trainer? Or does it not let me face the trainers after I battle Misty? You have to face other trainers to see how good you really are. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to battle them. I guess maybe I just skipped them. Misty is a trainer who's going to keep improving. She won't lose to someone like you. Oh, I guess I have to do them beforehand. <laughs> I just didn't want to level up Landon too much. Oh, well. So I shouldn't have wasted that potion. Tiny business, massive nepotism. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, I didn't realize that, Koneko. I don't think I've ever tried to do that. Dodge around the trainers like that, so. I didn't know... That's okay. Not a big deal. It's only a little bit of experience we lost out on, so. Alright. How many Pokeballs do I have? 
I have four Pokeballs. That should be fine. Well, that's two for each of the two routes. Oh, that... Look, she moved. Okay, Slowbro, use Sonic Boom. Come on, Slowbro, pay attention. <laughs> Slowbro just ignored orders. Let's buy a few more Pokeballs. Mm-mm-mm. Yes, that's good. Okay, and because I'm using Species Claws, and we got a Bell Sprout already, actually the next two encounters, it's only going to be one. So I won't be able to get I won't be able to get two Pokemon on the next route, just one. So that's a bummer. The people here were robbed. It's obvious that Team Rocket's behind this most heinous crime. Even our police force has trouble with the rockets. Did you have a name redeem? I'm on mobile, I may have missed the explanation. Oh, I turned it off because we have so many names in the queue, but Jed, of course you don't have any names in the queue. So let me turn it back on for you. Um, and then you can submit some and then I'll turn it back off. Um, we just have a lot of names in the queue and people went a little crazy, you know what I'm saying? Okay, it's on for a second. That's just for Jed, you guys. <laughs> um, Jed, you can submit some and then I'll turn it back off. Thank you, Kendra. I appreciate that. Team Rocket must be trying to dig their way into no good. Those miserable rockets. Look at what they've done to my house. Whammer. <laughs> you don't wanna you don't want a Pokemon named Jed? We don't want a Jedlum Pokemon, just Whammer. Yeah, and I appreciate that. So now we have a nice big queue. Um, I was gonna use it on a Mankey or a Sand Shrew. That cost me a bundle, it did. Oh, what's this? Another rocket fight? Who do I have in front? Let's see. Politician could use some more levels. Let's put politician in front. That should be fine. Hey, stay out! It's not your yard. Huh, me? I'm an innocent bystander, don't you believe me? I don't believe you. Okay. Go for Chedlam. No, you put in Whammer! Okay, I'll turn it back off, though. So Whammer is in there now, um, so we will make sure that we name somebody Whammer. Alright, go, politician. Oh, I don't think the bite... bite doesn't do anything to fighting, does it? Eh, not really. Okay. Oh, but he flinched. That's nice. Let's see. Mm -mm -mm. Let's switch over to Moisty. So because we already got the bell sprout, we have two chances then to get a Meowth coming up. So I'll have to, I'll have to think of which of the names that we've got in there that I want to give to Meowth. Whoa! That was not nice! That was not nice, Machop. Critical hit for you. Alright, good night, Kuneko. Rest up. I hope you feel better tomorrow. Um, if it helps, when I both the times that I had my shots and had the reaction, it only lasted like a day-ish. So hopefully you feel better by tomorrow. Uh, yes, I will change Pokemon. Let's actually go into Politician now. <laughs> exactly, Jed. <laughs> exactly. We named um, we named it Politician whenever it was a Magikarp. I bought it. This was I, I bought the Magikarp from the dude. Um, so that's what this guy is. And then I switch trained him all the way up. Yeah, I've only had mild reactions so far. I'm expecting to be mostly be tired tomorrow. Yeah. Well, good luck. I hope you do feel better and that it doesn't last long. No! At least you only had a sliver left. Use the tackle. Disable's so annoying. All right. Stop. I give up. I'll leave quietly. I love in this world that all you have to do is have a Pokemon battle and the other person acts like you punch them in the face. Okay, I'll return the TM I stole. Alright, I got TM28. I better get moving. Bye! Alright, let's see what TM28 is. Dig! Okay, so we've got Dig now.
Yeah, politicians only have um, two modes, absolutely nothing and utter destruction. So his first mode was absolutely nothing, um, and now he is in utter destruction mode. So there we go. All right, next catch, let's switch to Landon in the front. Yep, we gotta get in the grass. All right, let's try to get a Meowth. We already have a Pidgey. We have a Pidgey, we have a Bell Sprout, so we gotta roll a Meowth to do the catch on this route. Yeah, we're not gonna drop anything off in the daycare though. I I don't I don't typically use it. Um, I might use it to help do some of my off-stream grinding, but we're not gonna really use it in the game. I'm not really gonna breed anything or anything like that. Oh my god, Meowth, come up! go down one more. Maybe the grass closer to the daycare will be more likely to have a Meowth. There we go. Alright, wild Meowth appeared. We're gonna put it to sleep. Alright, and then... Let's try to catch it. Let's see, what names do we have left? Oh, good. No, you can breed in this one. You can't breed in red and blue, but you can breed in fire red leaf green. <laughs> well, Kendra. <laughs> yes, we do. Okay. We are gonna give him the name Whammer. I think that's good. Um, when I look at the other names, I'm most inspired for a, a Meowth to say Whammer. All right, did I spell that right? Yes, I spelled that right. Transferred to Bill's PC. <laughs> Well, I mean, Kendra, if you want to go there, we can. All right, so let's mark that one off of our list. Yeah, it totally tracks, right? It's, uh, Meowth has big whammer energy. Do you have a Nidoran? No. I wish I did, but I don't. Um, now, down here, there's supposedly a lot of, like, hidden items dropped on the floor, but... I always fail at finding them. I don't know if that's like, you know, I just don't know where to press the button or if it's like they only come up later, like some of the mushrooms in Mount Moon, like if you have to go back later to find them. Um, but I never, I never find them. Um, people often lose things in the darkness of the underground path. That's true. Okay, so now on this route, because we caught the Meowth last time, there's only Pokemon here are ones that we already have. So because I'm using Species Claws, we cannot actually... Um, catch anything here, so. Unfortunate, but true. Uh, let's see. And we need to give Moisty a potion. I need to buy some more potions. Only got two left. Just walk up and down and spam. That's what I've done, but, like, I never pick up anything. I don't know. Maybe I just don't get it. I don't really understand. There aren't many bugs out here. Well, that's true. You gotta go back to Viridian Forest if you want lots of bugs. But you know what we do have out here? Pidgeys to destroy your bugs. Yeah. Poke or poke? Big difference? I don't understand. Is this like a British thing? I don't know what you're trying to say, Jed. Sorry. <laughs> Maybe we don't use that uh, as a mean word. 
in uh, in the U.S.? I'm not sure. You guys do have some weird words. Sometimes you guys say things like whole sentences, and I'm like, hmm. Those are some words. Yep. No idea what you're saying. No accents or non-anglicized letters for me. Oh. Oh, I want to switch to... I think these are guys are gonna do a... Do they make me do a double battle? I think they do. Who's there? Quit listening in on us. Maybe they don't. So you have to actually talk to these guys to battle them. Mm, I should have put Ivysaur out, but that's okay. We'll level up Moose. I'm sure Moose can take out this guy, Squirtle. Poke is in Pokemon, but the accent won't show for you, which is pretty wild. Oh, like you're typing the accent, but it won't show? Oh, that's weird. That's weird. How do- how, like, how does it do with- okay, I see what you're saying now. How does it do with other languages than where you need the accent? Before I wouldn't know what you're talking about without it. That's bizarre. Let's see, what other moves does- does he have? Yeah, we can get rid of, um... We can get rid of Tackle. That's super useless, because he already has Quick Attack and Hyper Fang. Oh, that one works. That- that letter works. I wonder why accented E doesn't work. <laughs> Spanish people are white. <laughs> I mean, they do speak um, Spanish, of course, a lot in uh, Mexico, South America, places like that. But like, Spanish came from Spain in Europe. <laughs> Yay! Moose is evolving. Yeah, I guess they just hate Spain. I don't know. Yeah, I got Raticate. Do I want to do Scary Face? I don't know if I'd ever use it. Reducing its speed. I guess I could replace Tail Whip with that. Because I definitely will never use Tail Whip. But maybe I might, like, reduce some Pokemon's speed. I don't know. Okay, let's see. We're gonna keep Raticate there. Excuse me, this is a private conversation. Well, I'm butting in for a battle. Picnicker Nancy. All right, well, let's see whose Rattata is better. Probably mine. Mm, no, that's fine. We'll hyper fang it. Yeah, so I think everything else I have is going to be slower than Pikachu. Oh, that's rude. Kendra, are you still talking about breeding? Is that still what's going on here? Jane, welcome back! We have been just absolutely destroying. Um, haven't lost anybody. We're doing really good here. We're doing really good today. Had to leave to start bath time. Oh, okay. Oh, yay. Good job. Good missing. I like that. I like when that happens. I like when they miss. I'm not slandering you. I'm not slandering you, Kendra. I'm just, like, lightly ribbing. <laughs> Uh-oh. Jane's not gonna help you, Kendra. Alright. Who needs... 
He's paralyzed. Let's put in, let's put in Uwu. Uwu! This should be okay for these guys, I think. Brock was MVP in the anime. He was the best. He was unashamed of who he was. That's important. Oh, that's a Pidgey. I probably shouldn't have my bug out here. Let's go to... Let's go to Taylor. Kendra, is that kind of content on TikTok too? I feel like you would know. I mean, I know it's on Twitter. It pops up in my Twitter feed sometimes. <clears throat> no. No idea. <laughs> I feel like if it, it if there was a big community for it, you would have found it by now. So maybe it's not really popular on TikTok. Or the community's like very small or something. Oh no! Oh, that's not good. You gotta get back to the weird stuff. That's where TikTok shines. No sad stuff on TikTok. Yay. Isabel. All right. What have you got for us? When I saw Sexy KFC, I knew I was kidding better. <laughs> oh, Kendra. Oh, Kendra. <laughs> I can't respond. I can't respond. Uh. <laughs> oh, no. Why didn't I switch? Oh, good. He just leered. I wasn't paying attention. Good thing you didn't peck me. All right, let's switch to Taylor. Come on, Taylor. I can't believe it's still out there. I know, it's crazy. People love that meme. People freaking love the meme. Bye, lady. Oh, something that if you weren't here at the very beginning of the stream, you probably didn't realize, but um, let me show you now. Look what, look what I have, you guys. What's this? Oh my god. It's Girl Scout cookies. And I got both of the newer cookies this year. So I'm going to show those to you guys. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, no. <laughs> Jane, you know me so well. Okay, so this is one of the new ones called Adventurefuls. You can kind of see that. It boasts that they're like brownie-like in some way, but let me tell you guys, they're not. Oh no, I'm very bright now. Uh-oh, this happens when I show a box on the camera. There we go. I guess the box color was too light. Yeah, they're not though. They literally like, here, I'll show you. This is what they look like. Like, you can see that they're like caramel and chocolate. Oh my God, stop making it so bright. And, but the caramel like really doesn't taste like anything and it's not even that soft. And it's like, literally, it just tastes like chocolate. Oh my God, stop doing that camera. Why? Whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, camera, fix yourself. There we go. Okay. Ugh, it keeps being too bright. Come on. Ugh! I don't know. I don't know how to fix it. Um. Let's go back to regular music, at least. 
Camper Jeff didn't know what to do. Alright. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, deactivating it and reactivating it, I'm still like, it's still not right. This should work, like covering up the camera should work. I don't know why it's not working. It always has before. I might just need to turn off my light. There, look what you made me do. Turn off my key light so people can see me. Okay, anyway, we're gonna eat this cookie. It's not very good. It literally, like, it looks like it would be good, but I swear to God, it just tastes like a chocolate cookie. All I taste is a chocolate cookie. It's so boring. Did you see the SSN moored in the harbor? No, not yet. I haven't walked that far. More careful about pollution here. We've heard Grimer multiplies in toxic sludge. Your Brock arc is awesome, Jed. I agree. Yeah, I defeated Camper Jeff. I defeated everybody. I'm the fishing guru. I simply love fishing. I can't bear to go without. Tell me, do you like to fish? Yes. Grand, I like your style. I think we can be friends. Take this and fish, young friend. You had an old rod. The problem with the old rod is it basically just catches magic arc, which we already have. Fishing is a way of life. It is like the finest poetry. From the seas to rivers, go out and land the big one, my friend. All right, I think there's also a hidden item around here. I think I have to start from the Poke Center. There we go. That corner right there. I'm putting up a building on this plot of land. I own it all. My Pokemon is tamping the land to lay the foundation. Good job, Pokemon. Hi, do you have a Spiro? I want to trade it for my Farfetch'd. No. Nope. You cannot have my Spiro for a Farfetch'd. I just adore my seal. It's so lovable. It squeals cute when I hug it. Cute! Aww. Oh my gosh! Thank you so much for the raid, madam! Um, let's get madam a shout out. Madam does tons of crafting streams. Um, she was crafting today, I think. My Pikachu is twice as cute as that one. No. <laughs> I don't have my horse! Leave me! Oh no. Why does it happen to you? I'm so sorry. <laughs> that was a good clip. <laughs> Seriously, I just, I only spawned in. I... <laughs> All right. This is the other um, new cookie. It's called Toastier. You can't read it as well because I had to turn off my likes. It was being dumb. Oh, welcome in. Thank you um, for chatting. Booches? I'm not sure how to say say your name. And welcome back, Candice. Um, welcome in, all you raiders. We are playing Pokemon Leaf Green Nuzlocke. On Thursdays, we kind of do a little bit of whatever I want. Right now, we're mostly doing a Nuzlocke. Also, on um, Saturdays, though, that's my community day where it's like a conversation with my friend. It's either a podcast-style stream or like a literal group game that we all play. Um, so that's what you've kind of come into here on the on the Karen Terry 
uh, channel. Oh, thank you so much for the hydrate, hydrate tap. I need that because I'm about to eat a cookie. <laughs> about how Brock abandoned his needy siblings to sell sex biscuits to wild animals. Well, I mean, he's just living the dream, you know? He's living the dream. That's his, that's his reality. So this is what the toastiers look like. You can see they have, like, some stuff on the back. And they taste literally like, like, a cinnamon toast crunch, like, horchata if those two things like came together and had a cookie baby these are really good you need to get a box of these skip the stupid adventure fulls they're just plain chocolate cookies you can get a better chocolate cookie in, a, in lots of places thin mint is a better chocolate cookie literally these though these are amazing so good they're so good Yeah, really cookie. They they taste like like a Girl Scout version of a horchata cookie. They're so good. I chair the Pokemon fan club. I raise more than 100 Pokemon. I'm very fussy. When it comes to my Pokemon, I surely am. So did you come to visit to hear about my Pokemon? Yeah, good. Then listen up. My favorite Rapidash is cute, lovely, smart, plus amazing. You think so? Oh, yes, it's stunning. Kindly love it. Hug it. When sleeping, warm and cuddly, spectacular, ravishing. Oops, look at the time. I kept you too long. Thanks for hearing me out. I want you to have this. Bike voucher. We can get a bike, guys. Put the bike, bike voucher in the key items pocket. Now we don't have to pay a million dollars for a bicycle. Don't worry, my favorite Fira will fly me anywhere I need to go. So I have no need for a bicycle. I hope you like cycling. Don't worry, I love cycling. Welcome in, Kay. Welcome in, Tap. Welcome in, Cookie. Let's see, who else did I not actually say welcome to? Um, welcome, Candice. Um, Candice, every time I see your name, I just think about how my masters are coming, and I cannot wait to start making better, better dice. Yes, I do. I have watched Phil DeFranco since he started over a decade ago. Not religiously, but I regularly watch him. Yep. <laughs> I'm getting my Pidgey to fly a letter to Saffron in the north. I want to exchange mail with all sorts of people. I send my Pidgey to a union room to exchange mail for me. We can't do that, as you guys know. I started three or four years ago or something like that. Well, that's good. You missed a lot of his garbage content. There was literally like a segment like, that was like, I can't remember what he called it, but it was like hot lady of the day for like the longest time. It was, it was trash. It was awful, but he still did cover the news in a really good unbiased way. So I still watched anyway, even though a lot of his stuff was really annoying back in the day. Hi, do you have a Spiro? Want to, oh, we already did talk to her. No, we don't want to trade. The SSN is a famous luxury cruise ship. It visits Vermilion once a year. It just occurred to me that I don't really like his videos because I need him to punch me in the throat. <laughs> I do. That tagline is so funny. He, it still makes me laugh. All right, guys, <clears throat> we're going to catch another one. We're going to come in here. We're not actually going to go through Diglett's cave or anything, but I just want to catch the Pokemon in here. Well, isn't this a surprise? Diglett dug this a long time. It goes right to Viridian City, they tell me. All right. Let's hope for a Diglett, not a Doug Trio that might kick my booty. Just want to catch him. And then we're going to leave here. There we go. Nice Diglett. Let's put it to sleep. All right, and then we're going to switch to somebody that's a little bit sturdier. And then try to catch him. This might not have been the best idea because he's pretty high level compared to me. Well, he's like my same level instead of lower level like I'm used to catching. 
Still worked. Okay. <laughs> I didn't fail. <laughs> Deadline sorted. Now getting paid to stay up late and watch my homies play Pokemon. I love that. I love that, Jed. Uh, yes, of course we want to give Diglett a nickname. Alright. Um, since we have a bunch of raiders in here that you guys haven't gotten a chance to name Pokemon, I'm gonna just turn back on those, the channel points for naming Pokemon for the duration of the stream. I turned it off because we had quite a queue of names. But, um, but we, got a lot of, we got a lot of friends in here today that have not seen the other Nuzlocke streams, so that is back on for you guys. Um, Kendra, you are banned from sending in names. If you send in any, I'll refund you at this point. You've sent in so many. Uh, this is for everybody else. <laughs> um, but we are going to use one of the other names in here that we have. This is a little, this is a girl diglet. So I think we're going to go with, um, Karen Jr. So we've got, we've got Karen, me the trainer. We've got Junior. And then we've got Karen Jr. That's not confusing at all. Yeah, everyone except Kendra. <laughs> thank you for the applause, Jane. And thank you for the wow earlier, also. Okay, there we go. Karen Jr. Hydration. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I deserved it. I absolutely uh, deserve everything that I got from you, Kendra. It was... It was, they were well placed. The names were all well placed. Oh yeah, Oreo's not in here. We've got a uh, queen on the baby cam. Lady was in here earlier. Oreo's not, um, he's gotten massive though. My God. Uh, you've probably seen the pictures that I've posted, but he is huge now. Run, 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 run. Thank you so much for the lurk, Kendra. We love our lurkers here. Oh, what are you having? I hope it's tasty. We're going back. We're going back to get the bike, by the way. Because <clears throat> I'm hesitating on starting the new section if I want to do that before the next stream. I want to do that next stream or if I want to do that now. We're gonna go get our back. <laughs> Jane, someday. Someday she'll she'll hear the call and she'll make an exclamation Kendra command. Yay, I got a bike. Thank you. It's true. You're all hot. Every if you read that message, you're hot. It's just how it is. Alright. Let's register the bike. Yep, okay. So now we can zoom zoom on our bike. Honestly, today everyone told me Cleo is being a pain in the ass and not accepting any BS moving her out of my room by chomping. <laughs> Good job, Cleo. Don't take any of that crap. Ah, oh, I didn't mean to hop down. I was trying to read chat. While I walked. Oops. That's what I get. That's what I get for trying to multitask. It's true. Only hot people are in my streams. Okay. Now, let's go. I don't know any uggos. They don't exist in my world. Only hotties. Right? I am. You would be too. Yeah, we were talking, um... J oh, you were here, Jane, when we were talking about that. Like, I love how she runs and, like, the bike too. She just looks so energetic and happy. Please tell me my boy is still alive. Moisty! I have good news for you. Look! Here he is, and he's evolved, he's level 21, he's doing good, he's living life, he's uh, he's a good Pokemon. And I know it has the female symbol, but I keep saying he because it's moisty. Um, I can't stop. <laughs> 
So we decided it's like a gender fluid Pidgey or something. So I had to get one of the seals shut by screwing the lid on so she doesn't knock over the pin. <gasps> oh, wait, I missed the earlier message. Kit Kat has evolved into knowing how to open her food container. Oh no, that's not good. All right, they're all healed up. I don't know. I don't know, Jed. I definitely treat my animals like, um, like little people. To me, they're like toddlers that live in my house, you know? All right, so the next thing we have to do is... Is SS Anne, but I didn't write down any notes on this section because I thought we would not get that far this stream. But that's okay. Like, let's see what happens. We'll put Taylor. We, we need to get Ubu some levels. Maybe he can get some levels inside here. Welcome to the SS Anne. Excuse me, do you have a ticket? Great. Welcome to the SS Anne. Okay, before I do that, actually, there is one thing I want to do before SSN. I need to go shopping. I need to get some more potions. Kit Kat's too smart for her own good. I shall thwart her. Good luck. <laughs> um, all right, let's buy some potions. Oh, super potions. Oh, we've got a lot of those. I guess I don't... There's not regular potions anymore. That's okay. I think Pokemon can be good or bad. It depends on the trainer. There are wicked people who will use Pokemon for criminal acts. Team Rocket traffics in rare Pokemon, for example. They also abandon Pokemon that they consider unpopular or useless. That's the sort of horrid people they are, Team Rocket. That's very rude of them. <laughs> if looks could kill. I don't think I talked to the people inside the Pokemart. Or the Poke Center here. Just talked to the Pokemart people. Yeah, I didn't. Okay. My Pokemon was poisoned. It fainted while we were walking. Yeah, that's really annoying. Um, the urge to battle with someone you've tangled with before. Have you ever had that urge? I'm sure you have. I wanted to battle certain people again over and over too. So I've been giving these away. Please take one. The Versus Seeker. All right. So the Versus Seeker is great because it'll let you do rematches. And um, and the rematches, they'll be slightly higher level. So you can do some more effective like switch training leveling up that way. But of course, it's a little more dangerous um, when you're doing a Nuzlocke. So I might use some, do, do some of the Versus Seeker. Uh, to do some levels? I might not. I'm not sure. I'm a little bit scared. <laughs> like, what if I kill one off stream and then I have to tell you guys I have to come back with that shame, you know? Even if they're the same level, Pokemon can have very different stats and abilities. A Pokemon raised by a trainer is stronger than one in the wild. It's true that a higher level Pokemon will be more powerful, but all Pokemon will have weak points against specific types. So there appears to be no universally strong Pokemon. That's true. There's not. All right. I know! Like, if I had to come back and be like, Moisty, you died, and I don't even have footage of it because it was while I was getting you an extra level off stream. Like, could you imagine? I would die. I would die on the inside, and then I would immediately die on the outside. Alright, let's save before we walk in here. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, I have a ticket. <laughs> Tap, you speak it you speaking from experience? <laughs> you wanna <laughs> Are you gonna pick up your um Nuzlocke back up at some point? Um I guess start you would start from the uh Johto region game. The passengers are restless from this long voyage. You might be challenged by the boor more bored ones. Good to know. Bonjour, I'm the waiter on this ship. I will be happy to serve you anything you please. Ah, the strong, silent type. That's right, I don't talk, apparently. <laughs> well, Kay, are you very sleepy? I mean... <laughs> you, mon petit, were busy here. Out of the way. I saw an odd berry in the trash. I wonder what that means. I'm so busy, I'm getting dizzy. You'll have to give me room here. Uh-oh, that's not good. A petcha berry. Hum de hum de ho. I peel spuds every day. Yeah, there's berries in all of these, I think. Did you hear about Snorlax? It's a glutton. No other Pokemon eats and sleeps the way Snorlax can and does. Oh, see? We're talking about Snorlax right now, okay? <clears throat> I'd have to restart due to corrupt save, maybe later this year when I'm no longer salty at Surge 
Oh, yeah, yeah. Snivel sniff. I only get to peel onions. Oh, no. That sucks. Ahem. I am indeed Le Chef. The main course is eels au barbecue. Les guests will mutiny, I fear. Oh, man. I want some eel. Unagi. Unagi from the sushi restaurant? That's the best. Yeah, Unagi Don is awesome. I freaking love Unagi Don. Mmm, so good. Hello, stranger. I can't tell if you're from the seas or mountains, but stop and chat. All my Pokemon are from the sea. Fisherman Barney sent out Tentacruel. Go, Uwu. Mm, yep, this should be fine. Kadactyl is still the best Pokemon, that's true. I remember in, in Tap's uh, run, he caught a Jigglypuff and named it after me, and then promptly killed the next um, several Pokemon that he caught. Uh, basically, the whole point was that he was not allowed to have a Pokemon that was cuter than me, which um, totally makes a lot of sense, like, of course. And so that's why he kept killing all of the Pokemon. They're only allowed to live if they're less cute than Jigglypuff. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I managed to catch any of the streams where he was doing the Johto one, or if I did, I was only lurking, so I don't remember them, but I, I do remember um, that, that segment of the Kanto stream. Uh, no, it's fine. We're returning to some Pokemon content next week, though. Oh, that's good, Tap! I can't wait. I love me some Pokemon content. What are you playing? What kind of what Pokemon game is it? Oh, don't recover. That's so annoying. Oh, Legends. Oh, okay, okay. I need to get that game. Oh my god. Star you. Are you kidding me? Stop being so annoying. And every time it recovers, I'm, like, doing less damage. I need to get some crits so I can kill this thing. Stop recovering. Stop recovering. How much PP is recover? Am I going to kill it now, finally? Thank God. Jesus. <sighs> Remember when everyone loved Unite for, like, a week? Yeah, and then we realized it was, like, totally a scam. Um, when I... The model for that game, the, um... The pricing model for that game and the way that it worked was just ridiculous. And very, very predatory. Um, not happy that Pokemon went that way. Pocus might. Yeah, except like I don't know. I don't think I don't think that type of game should be Pokemon, because Pokemon is like such um a kid's franchise, you know. I don't think kids should be playing that kind of game. I mean, but I don't think kids kids should be playing gotcha games or like anything like that, you know. So I'm very uncomfortable with the Pokemon franchise being having a game that's like structured like that. basically forces you to keep playing um just to feel like you can stay caught up not good all right got him matey you're walking the plank if you lose well i'm not going to Unless you have a stupid star you who recovers 50 times. What does he have? Oh, just a Machop. Okay. Um, let's do... Moisty. Get that Machop, Moisty. Exactly, Tap. Yeah. Exactly. 
I don't like things that um, that take advantage of of kids in that way. <clears throat> and I feel like that's the road that game was going down. Yeah, super wrong. So, I mean, I played it for the first week just like everybody else, and then I just kind of like, you know, it slowly dawned on me that like, oh, this is one of those kind of games. And it's Pokemon, where I know a lot of young kids are playing. You know? And I mean, if I didn't realize it at first, and, and you know, I'm, I'm you know, a gamer and know a lot about that kind of stuff, how would a parent, other, a parent that doesn't really know a lot about games, like, know what their kid's doing? They just think like, oh, Pokemon, like, sure, that's a kid's game, whatever. Pokemon's fine for kids. So, just, you know, not good, not good. I make a sweeping statement and say all mainstream MOBAs, MOBAs have similar issues. I agree. I mean, I just don't, I don't think MOBAs are appropriate for kids um, in general. And um, it was really disappointing to see Pokemon make a MOBA that uh, didn't do anything to correct any of the predatory nature of MOBA games. I don't know if you could make a MOBA that wasn't predatory. Like, I have no idea. You know, maybe it's not possible. That's just kind of how that game is structured. In which case, then, Pokemon shouldn't have one. I saw an advertisement for it the other day, and this is funny that y'all mention it, because I saw an advertisement for it the other day, and it kind of, like, bubbled up in me, like, all the things that frustrated me and annoyed me about that game, and I was like, fucking... That stupid game. I hate that game. <laughs> I feel like this is literally just like two days ago that that happened and I had that thought. So it's like really funny y'all are mentioning Pokemon Unite now. Yep, MMOs did not used to be like that though. Like, I mean, I played plenty of MMOs and things like that as a kid and there was no microtransactions inside of MMOs. Like, that didn't exist until um, many, many years later. You know, with, I guess the first microtransaction in MMO that I saw was um, Sparkle Ponies in WoW. Um, yeah, that's the first one I can really think of. Okay, I definitely want Twin Needle. That's his signature move, so he's gotta have that. Let's do, let's replace some String Shot. I don't see myself using String Shot, really. Twin Needle! No one will host a free MMO for kids, unfortunately. I know, and it's such a shame. Because there's so many games, like, as a, as a kid that I feel like used to exist like that. Like, spaces online for kids to, to do fun stuff and play games. Um, and things that just don't exist anymore. Like, uh, Neopets, for example, back in the day. Uh, that was great for kids. You know, there was all those mini games. It was awesome. And it was well moderated. Well, as well as it could have been. Stuff still went down on Neopets, I'm not gonna lie. But they tried, okay? They tried really hard. And you were interacting with other kids, so, you know, I just, I wish more sites existed like that. Mm-hmm. Exactly, Judd. Exactly. And the fact that everyone on the internet exists in the same space now, I just think is, it's not good. That's a whole other thing. Like, I, I mean, at this point with the way that the internet works, I almost feel like there should be, like, a driver's license for the internet. <laughs> you know, like, we don't let teenagers drive cars without having a test first. I feel like, you know, maybe we should have a test for the internet <laughs> uh, that you have to pass to show that you have certain critical thinking skills and certain, um, and certain you know, ability to, to resist uh, types, different types of um, persuasion, uh, or at least recognize when you're being actively persuaded. And, um, <laughs> and then you can get like your internet license or something. Yeah, it's like super late for you. Uh, go to bed, Jed. <laughs> Good night. Sleep well. I caught one. You must have been dozing off. I caught a diglet. <clears throat> Alright. Let's see, where are my Pokemon at? I'm pretty happy with my Pokemon's levels right now. I've got... Some level 20s and level 22s. Oh, yeah, probably Jed. Um, but we've caught some more. So here's who I've got in my PC. Uh, let's see. So we've got Spiro, we've got Champ the Spiro, we've got Junior the Sandshrew, Mr. Jane the Bellsprout, Pinky the Metapod, Whammer the Meowth, 
and Karen Jr. the Diglett. So I think what I'm going to do in between stream is make sure all of these guys are at least level 20. Um, but I'll do that off stream just to, so that we have backups. Uh, no, I don't want to continue box operations. But I think I'm going to stick with this particular team right now. I like it. I think we can use uh, Taylor here to absolutely wreck the next gym. Um, so I think we're going to stay with this team for the moment. Let me save my game. Yes, I would. Yes. And we'll continue going through the trainers of SS Anne, and then we will do um, the third gym. Surge, Lieutenant Surge. All right. Let's close the game. Oh, I want to actually export the f a save file. All right. I'm making backups because I'm not going to get into the situation that Tap did where he had a completely corrupted save file. So I've got backups of like before, <laughs> right before each episode. So if something goes wrong, we don't have to go back too far. We don't have to go back too far. Yes, so if something happens to Taylor, I'll have the Diglett, I'll have Karen Jr. that I can have as a backup to uh, to do that. Incredibly jank getting it put back together. I bet, that's very annoying. All right, guys, we're gonna find somebody to raid, and while I'm getting Twitch loaded up and I'm doing that, um, let's talk about what we're doing next week, because we're gonna do something different next week. I'm not going to be playing uh, my Nuzlocke. Instead, we're going to be playing some more of uh, Naomi Norbez's games. As you guys know, uh, Bez is a friend of the channel that makes um, a lot of indie games that are like um, text-based and you click through and it's like a story and we've really enjoyed the ones we've played so far. Um, and so we are going to play another one of those next week. It's a it's two games, two short games, and they're kind of companions to each other. Uh, one's called Weird Grief, and the other is called um, Death Dead Account or Death Account. Let me find the name exact name, so I'm not making this up. Okay, it's called The Dead Account and Weird Grief. So they're two short companion games. I think I'm going to be able to play them back to back by the way that I understand the games to work and and the length of them. So that's what we're going to do. Um, on Saturday, we have got a really exciting stream for you guys. We're going to be talking about this trend that we see with um, women being catty towards each other, creative women being catty towards each other and trying to like kind of take each other down. This is like a trend that we see like Caroline Calloway, if you guys remember that situation, the bad art friend thing with um, Dawn and Sonia that we saw. Um, and there's there's tons of other situations. So we're going to be examining that phenomenon and why it seems like every nine to 12 months, there's like a new one of these stories and it just blows up in the zeitgeist and like everybody's talking about it and picking sides on which lady they go with. Um, it's crazy. So we're gonna be talking about all of that. It's gonna be a Sasha stream. Um, and uh, Sasha streams are always really interesting and fun. So uh, so come for that. Here's all of my socials and all of the things you guys know how that works, right? So um, so that's all the places that you can find me. I do everything just like every other content creator. So if you want to uh, support the stream or do any donations or things like that, all of that stuff is down in the about, you know, subscribing, tipping, et cetera, et cetera. You guys know how all of that works. Um, I don't need to explain it to you. You're very smart. All right, we're gonna raid into Miss Nix today. Cause it's been a really long time. She's normally not streaming at this time of day. So there we go. We're gonna raid into Miss Nix. She is actually playing Smite, funny enough. <laughs> um, so we're gonna go watch some Smite. I will see you guys on Thursday or on Saturday, whichever one I see you on first. Very excited for both of those streams. And um, you guys, of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day.